Two guys. Spirit Miss. Good. This guy dies, maybe. Or blow it up. Tether this guy. Light attacks. Please. I'm on that stamina. Roll. Please. Pull again. Heels. That base shot. We're live. We're live. Good. Lights. Touch on. I'm sweating. Two rallies. One dead. Roll. Heels. 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 Or blow it up. Heavies. Boof. Oh, you're so dead, bro. Heavies. Still four for the heal. That base shot. Stagger. Roll. Two rally got low. He's one shot. Auto's pen. Nice. Roll. Tether. Root him. Or blow it up. Roll. Heavies. Oh, this is nasty. This is going to be a nasty clip when we dub this. Whoa, get out of my face. I need to kill the mage. Nice roll. Roll. Light tech the mage. He's dead, right? One more shot on him. Autos pet shot. Nice rolls. Autos. Or blow it up. How many players are on me? How many players was that? Does anyone know? Jesus Christ. It's still not over. Two more to go. Two more to go. Heels. Roll. Heavies. He's a musket. Musket sword shield. Oh, my God. Or blow it up. Heavy shot stagger. Even with the fucking alpha wolf on me, bro. Disgusting. Bro, stagger. Two rallies. Nice dodge. No stamina. Like, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, GG's. That was at least five. That was at least five. Fuck. Feck. Dish. 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 No dots, too. God damn. YouTube, what is up, everybody? I'm back. I have my updated build guide. Bo Boy got it finally pretty much full bis. Want to show you guys what I'm running. Super, super quick. Speedy is going through all my gear. I'm going to show you guys every piece. I might touch on a couple of things, but I really just wanted to showcase you guys what I'm using. Got this from the PP track. PvP track. I had these crafted. Got this from the kiln. If you guys are using the battle pass, the free side of the battle pass has boxes you can open. It gives you muteria, materia, however you say this weird word. Take that to the kiln. Make a named item for free, guys. You can make a named item for free. And then if you don't like the third perk that it rolls on it, you can take that named item with the guaranteed two perks, put it back in the kiln, and make, make it whatever third perk you want. So for these pants, it was guaranteed shirking energy and health. I put it back into the kiln after I made them, and I put shirking heels on them when I upgraded them. So pretty easy way to get a best piece of gear. For my boots, I have the tumbler wraps. I put shirking heels on these bad boys. For all my room glass, I'm running range attack damage for all my gems right i'm running two ruby the rest are emerald everywhere including my jewelry right your main enemies are going to be musket bows fire staffs right do your best to just avoid melee don't let them touch you for my bow i got the socratic bow if you want to know how to get this it was an easy grind for pve and then you upgrade it put a two minute as your third perk exclamation mark bow location in my twitch chat exclamation mark bow location in my twitch chat running the void gallant artifact of course i put slow tether on it everyone should understand how this works by now right you get that beautiful armor penetration thanks to disintegrate and the damage over time. Up to 30% armor pen is nutty with the bow, man. This build is so very fun, man. No more melee weapons for me. Just long range, laced bow shots left and right. Void Gala there to buff up my bow and for great support. You guys will probably not see me play another melee weapon ever again, man. I, I really don't like melee weapons. I'm finally able to just be on my full bow ranged bullshit. And I love it, man. I love it. I love it. I never like playing melee weapons. I don't normally play melee weapons. I finally have a cool secondary with the bow that lets me not run a melee weapon. Now, for my amulet, I have ank, of course. I put stamina recovery to get more stamina back. Insane. For my ring, I had this crafted. Mortal empowerment, thrust damage, hardy. You don't need mortal empowerment. You can swap that out. But thrust damage and hardy, absolutely insane. Top tier. For my earring, save perks I've been running for like two years on this game right healthy toast refresh toast regenerating a lot of health back with regenerating refresh toast for the cooldowns and then they did just nerf healthy toast but again right i really really want self-healing so even though they nerfed healthy toast i still am using it because there's not another perk on the earring that's going to give me health back so even though it got nerfed and it's much less health back it's still health back and in this meta of the potions being so nerfed it's self-healing is just more important to me, right? Especially as a solo player. Same reason, chat. I'm still running Shirking Heels. They nerfed it or adjusted it yesterday. Whatever you want to call it. 50% basically reduced the healing. It's still really good. I'm still getting like 3,500 heals on a roll on a five second cooldown. And I'm still going to run it even if they nerf it or adjust it again, chat. Because it's the only armor perk that gives you health back. Like I said, man. A solo player, your best friend is, is sustain, self-healing, and... There's no other armor perk that gives self-healing. So even if they nerf it again, I'm still going to keep running it, man, because the potions are nerfed, and I need I need that self-healing because I'm not typically running with a life staff pocket. So keeping shirking heals, keeping healthy toast, 
moving on to the bow weapon show screens i know on stream you guys see me play a lot of different abilities on the bow i like messing around i like playing all of them but these are by far the best three and the ones that i recommend to you guys if you want to see my other weapon skill trees for the bow it's in my discord link to the discord is in the description i have all my weapon skill trees for the bow in my discord underneath arrow Lee's build now these are the ones I recommend for this builder, right? Poison shot, explosion shot, evade shot. Evade shot's insane for extra movement. You don't have a lot of movement with the Void Gauntlet, but you do have a lot of control with the double slows and the root. But evade shot, I feel like it's a must at this point. You want that little bit of extra spicy movement with the Bow Void Gauntlet to be able to avoid those melee players. We actually end up having a really crazy good kit with the Bow Void Gauntlet. I did not expect this, but running this skill tree and running the Void Gauntlet skill tree, right? You actually have a, an insane amount of survivability and evasiveness that, that i think is, is pretty cool orbit decay has a slow 30 percent for three seconds slowing tether right thanks to my void gauntlet artifact i put that slowing tether for the 42 percent slow on it again very very good so i have double slows with the void gauntlet and then i have a root stagger healing reduction with the scream the healing reduction obviously coming from my beautiful gloves so this is the void gauntlet stuff i recommend for your tree one thing i want to touch on that's really really cool that not a lot of people know is if you use Harvest Essence, your right-click ability on the Void Gauntlet for 0.75 seconds, you remove a debuff. It, it, this is insane, guys. Somebody hits you with a Poison Shot, somebody hits you with a Rain of Arrows, you hold it for 0.75 seconds, and you can remove a debuff. <laughs> it's, it's so good. That, and then, of course, you also want to run the Harvest Essence Health Drain is reduced by 35%. Those two together are nuts, and then just max out the abilities, copy the tree that I did. This is what I'm talking about right here. Right-click Harvest Essence, 0.75 seconds, removes a debuff in a very, very high debuff matter right now. Um, that's pretty much everything. Or calcium arrows. I did go back to running bio bomb. You can run the stone form, but the healing is pretty good too. But I've been liking bio bomb for the AOE aspect and the one VXing feels very, very, very good. For my attributes, I almost forgot about the attributes. This is what I'm running right now, only because of my magnify. I have so many pieces of magnify, it's kind of cooking me. I can't run any less decks without my con freaking out. But ideally, I want to be 50 strength for the heavy attack damage. Uh, 350 dex and then 200 con. 50 strength is really cool because you get 10% heavy attack damage. You could also go 50 in if you want for just 5% more damage if someone has a dot on them. That's not bad either. You could go 50 focus for more incoming healing for your shirking heals and potions and for the ability cooldown. But uh, all these options are pretty good for 50 points. I just would recommend you go 350 dex, 200 con, and then do what you want with the other points but that that's the build guy chat that's the updated build guy that's what i'm running man slice the dice and i feel unstoppable this build feels so good so cool i love that i don't have to use a melee weapon anymore probably the only thing i would like better than this setup is if at some point new world just lets me use all six abilities on the bow and we can go no secondary would be very ideal but for now this is pretty cool i'm a big fan of this uh make sure you like comment subscribe guys catch me live every night 7 30 p.m est on twitch link in the description below